you ever do that thing online where you're reading something and then you go, oh, that looks cool, and you click on a link, and then it leads you to something else, and you think, oh, actually, that's made me interested in this, and then you search that, and you click on another link. Before you know it, you're nowhere near your original search. Like, nowhere near. The other day, as a result of one of these tangents, I ended up looking at bears and realised that bears are great, like, really great. And they're really intelligent. Apparently, an adult bear has the intelligence of, like, a three-year-old child. And you might think to yourself, well, I mean, that's not that intelligent. You can, like, pretend to pull a nose off a three-year-old kid and it falls for it every time. A bear's not going to fall for that. For an animal, that's pretty impressive. Like, I was talking when I was six months old. And even though that's not the average, that, to me, gives an impression of how smart a bear could be. I found, if you'll just bear with me, a list of random facts about bears. The most accurate way to find out the age of a bear is to look at the rings in its tooth under a microscope. Like you do with trees. Like when you cut down a tree or you cut off a branch of a tree and you look at the rings and you go, oh, this tree is 104 years old. Why did we cut this tree down? We definitely should have left it there. You can do the same with bears. Now, I'm not going to find a bear and try and get a tooth from its mouth to find out how old it is. But, I mean, people are welcome to try, if that is the most accurate way. They've been known to roll stones into bear traps so they can just eat the bait. Basically, that means the bear has outsmarted you. There's some food, there is a trap. If I just set the trap off, I can have the food. Bears can run up to 40 miles an hour. Like, it's faster than most of our speed limits in England. Also, Usain Bolt, who is supposedly the fastest human alive, could only run at 27 miles an hour. Which means even if you are as fast as Usain Bolt, the bear is still going to catch you. Like 40 miles an hour apparently is also enough to catch up with a running horse. So even if in some bizarre world you're riding on horseback through Bear City, then the bear is still going to get you even if the horse runs. The bear's like, troll la I can catch that. Bears also can see in colour, which... Again, doesn't sound impressive when you compare it to a human, but like dogs can't. Dogs see in black and white. A polar bear can jump eight foot out of the water to surprise a seal. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of party, like the seal comes home from its little seal date on its birthday. Oh, that's a lovely dinner. Walks onto its piece of ice and all the bears jump out. Surprise! I'd be pretty surprised if all my friends jumped eight feet in the air and yelled surprise to me. Bears have been known to eat almost anything, including, apparently, snowmobile seats, engine oil, and rubber boots. Now, what I think has happened here is a bear has eaten someone who was riding a snowmobile, probably after catching up with it. I don't think it's like the bear was like, oh, I'll just eat any of this. I think the bear was going after something very specific there, and the rest was just caught in the bear fire. But talking of food, right, apparently lumber companies in Washington state felt they were gonna have to kill all the bears because the bears kept on eating the bark off the trees. What someone suggested was they just put piles of free food out there. The bears stopped eating the tree bark and just started eating the free food. Like, they just saw the food and went, well, this is a lot less effort, let's do this. In fact, feeding the bears actually cost them less than killing them. Imagine that as your solution. Oh, the bears are eating everything. Why don't we give them food? That could have massively backfired when the bears ate the tree bark and the free food and then just the lumberjacks when they tried to kill them. Bears can see almost as well as a human and can hear a little bit better than a human but their sense of smell is a hundred times better than a human. If I was like, oh I can hear a hundred times better than you, you go, well you're a superhuman. Bears can smell a hundred times better than me. That's a superhuman sense of smell. My nose feels incredibly inadequate right now, and not just because it's a little bit blocked up. Apparently, for many years, scientists believed that the giant panda wasn't a bear, but was in fact a raccoon. They needed DNA proof to show that that wasn't the case. Now, I've seen a picture of a raccoon, and I've seen a picture of, say, a grizzly bear, and there's definitely a resemblance to one of those and not to the other. Thankfully, the DNA proved it was a bear, which is good for the raccoons as well, because imagine waking up every day as a raccoon and knowing you could have been a panda just with a little genetic twist, but instead you were a raccoon. Like, if you wake up every day as a grizzly bear, you're not going to go, ah, oh, wish I was one of those pandas. During hibernation, a bear doesn't defecate. It recycles its own waste into protein. Scientists apparently have no idea how this works. The bears are like, fuck you, science. Protein. And finally, Stone Age hunters worshipped and hunted bears at the same time. What they would do to show their respect, they sang and danced and prayed the bear would forgive them 
for killing it. Which in terms of how a religion works is pretty intense and pretty insane. So if you have any more bare facts, even if it's just a bare minimum, just put them in the comments below. A professor in Harvard kept a bear as a pet in his office because they wouldn't let him have a dog. I'd just let him have the dog, to be honest with you. 